It's Monday already. How absurd. Begins, begins our odyssey, and we begin, begin our odyssey. Why hello ladies and subscribers. Welcome to another week, and basically we're just going to get right into it. So being Monday, I got to pick the theme for this week, which is pretty fun, because I basically manipulated it to fit the book that I wanted to review. <laughs> Next week, men will be picking. This week's theme is The Absurd, and it fits my book, or should I say, play. This is called Absurd Theatre. It's by Tom Stoppard, and it's called Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead. Now, if you're a fan of Shakespeare, you'll know that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are both minor characters in Hamlet. I actually studied this text this year, which is why I have the notes, not because I'm not vigilant in my reviewing, unfortunately. Like I said, Stoppard's play falls under the category of Theatre of the Absurd, and rightly so. Besides being outrageously witty and intelligent, it's one of the strangest things I've ever read, let alone studied. Much like Wicked by Gregory Maguire, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead tells the same story of Hamlet, except it focuses on two other characters. It's set in the wings of Hamlet, and you see the entrance of Hamlet himself, Claudius, Gertrude, Ophelia, as they walk on stage, where in Hamlet, um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern would have walked on stage. It's very confusing. I won't get into that. During these entrances from the Shakespearean characters, Stoppard's playful banter between Rosencrantz and Guildenstern changes to Shakespearean language, and in fact uses lines from the play. Through the characters he has taken for his own, Stoppard questions their purpose, and consequentially, everyone's purpose. But he doesn't do this through dull dialogue. The play is filled with amusing wordplay, and, I mean, literally, word games, as in, there's a game of questions. It, it's really amusing. The play deals with existentialism, chance, fate, um, and basically makes re-evaluating life fun, because it's such a great read. Albeit completely bewildering. <laughs> and the movie is good too. Sorry, Sarah. I can also guarantee that you will never look at minor characters the same again. Anyway, girls, I'm in a particularly rambly mood today, so this is going to be really fun to edit. I could not say Gregory Maguire's name. Oh, I said it then. Um, so I'm going to go edit this and hopefully upload it on time. It was good to see both your videos this week, even though they came really late in the day, like mine. We like to leave it to the last minute. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with relating to the absurd. I think it'll be interesting because I kind of cheated and used it to my advantage. So <laughs> good luck and I can't wait to see them. Bye.